Caterforce is a UK buying group for the food service and wholesale market. We have nine members which cross over the whole of the UK, England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales. This year we should be up to about seven, £750 million pounds in turnover, which is fabulous. The main point of the buying group is to buy together, collaborative working to make sure that you can hit those buying discounts or rebates for volume. Um, I joined um, Caterforce just pre-pandemic, which was a un unnerving time to start anywhere. And at that time, it was definitely pen and piece of paper, a lot of terms, PDFs, and changing over a finance function and not having a good handover was really unwieldy and hard work. Right time as well. So you'd have thing, agreements ending in the um, month, but not actually getting the figures or the rebates back until about four or five months later. All done on spreadsheets, all done by word of mouth. And also the terms and agreements could be confirmed over emails or in the trader's head. And that's when Enable came on board and we were able to get things into a slicker way of working and we're able to actually manage more rebates for the members and give them a better return on investment. Always challenges trying to get the figures into one place. Collaboration, buy-in, everyone actually singing the same tune so that when the terminology came through it wasn't sort of well is it like that? You could actually progress things through so there wasn't actually as many challenges that came at the end of the day and also our cash flow actually improved as well. From my day-to-day -day role I don't talk about why is that not done, where is it, and why, why can't we do it. It's we've got this information, buyers, what are you going to do? You have four weeks to actually go and negotiate. Here's your plan on the page with the supplier. Can we now work together to get this? And we've seen a lot more of the value added. So the marketing campaigns have gone on the back of it because you can actually rationalize them within the terms agreements. We can see very clearly coming to the year end that we can put in place a very good strategy for the buyers of what they've got to achieve and they've got very clear KPIs for the each month on month so they can see how they're tracking so you're not blind or what have you to how are you doing and they know how to push our members to collaborate better of when to actually buy more or when not to buy more which is just as important. Just taken on a data apprentice who has been fabulous and what we have seen that he was able to understand how to work enable within a day which meant he was able to get transactions and reconcile and see where the difference was very quickly so getting new employees on board to do a data entry job was fabulous definitely more on the timeliness of the financial information it's impact them that they get the return of their money quicker and that distribution element of it and seeing when to delist core suppliers because that's working hard on suppliers that are actually getting no return, let's push those back local and just keep on to the core. They couldn't have done more for us. They understood that we had to go down some rabbit holes and get it wrong. And we did that several times with the buying group and understanding what actually we wanted to get out of the system. We probably started to try and use every function you could. And in the end, we knew we had to simplify it to get the best results at the end of the day.